up y'all it's Shemaine here and welcome back to my channel here at K-Cup and Curls so I know I am pretty barefaced at minus the brows but I do have a good explanation for that as you guys can see by the title I am going to be doing a full face of makeup using all Fenty Beauty products um, now in this I might switch up the lip I don't know but for the most part it is going to be all Fenty Beauty products and I was able to get my hands on which I don't think they sold out anyways but I was able to get um, a couple of the um, retouch pro filter concealers as well as as well as the setting powder so I'm going to be trying those products out and letting you guys know how I like it what my thoughts are I know there are a lot of videos out there but I just want to share my two cents okay so if you guys want to stay tuned definitely keep on watching if you guys are not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys are already subscribed thank you so much for joining the fam and coming back and staying tuned and that's it i'm about to get into the video so before we get started i do want to share with you guys what i was able to grab um from this new launch of concealers and setting powders that she came up with um so as far as the concealer she did come out with 50 shades of concealers the concealers are meant to complement your foundation shade of Fenty, Fenty Beauty so I thought that was pretty genius it makes it so much easier for you to find your shade unless you want to go um, a much much lighter shade or a deeper darker shade depending on if you're going to be contouring so I just thought that was pretty genius because it wasn't hard for me to kind of pick a shade of um, like a concealer and a contour Tour. So I did pick up two of the retouch um, concealers and in this shade I picked up 340 which is actually the same shade as my foundation and I did pick up the shade 430 for my contour so I'm going to be using these two to highlight and contour a little bit. And as far, as far as the setting powder, I did grab the banana setting powder. In this little launch as well, she did come out with these little precision makeup sponge duo set um, to apply the um, concealer as well. So I did grab that. I did also pick up one of the Fairy Bomb um, shimmer powders as well in Rose on Ice. And I'm gonna be using this as a highlight shade tonight as well. Um, so yeah, let's pretty much get right into it. First, I'm gonna be going in with my pro filter instant retouch primer um i really do like this primer it doesn't feel like too silicone-y on my skin you know how some primers can be like a little too drying on the skin it actually like helps moisturize my skin a lot Now that I have my um, primer already applied, I am going to grab my soft matte long wear um, foundation and I am in the shade 340. I am just going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand and then just add that to the face. to blend everything i am going to use a damp real technique sponge to blend everything out So now that I have the foundation blended on my skin, you guys, I absolutely love this foundation. This is like one of my go-to foundations. So if you guys have not already tried this soft matte long wear foundation, you're missing out. You are extremely missing out. And I believe she did just extend um, her foundation um, colors as well, about 10 additional shades on both the fair and the deep dark side. So, I mean, like Rihanna is definitely doing her fucking thing. On to concealer. And then when you take the concealer out of the package, um, the concealer looks a, light, a lot like the foundation. It is like this very like soft matte, um, like outside of it with the white cap. Here's my foundation shade 
again, this is in 340. And then here is my concealer shade, which is also 340. And as you guys can see, it is slightly lighter than my foundation shade. So that is good, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these. Now, this is the size of the little precision um, like sponge that she has, very little. I do like it because I did damp this as well. And as you can see, it is kind of fluffed up a lot, definitely does absorb a lot of that moisture. Okay, so it is really creamy when you put it on. And I will definitely say it's much lighter than my foundation shade, which is normally what we want. Obviously, we want to highlight. So I am just going to do the damn thing with this, okay? going to do is take like this little flat edge of the precision sponge and I am just going to blend out the contour. As far as blending this concealer out, it blends out perfectly. Like I really, really love how this blends out. So next I'm going to go in and blend out this concealer underneath. As you guys can see, this concealer blends out so beautifully, like it looks flawless. I would definitely say this is definitely like a medium to full coverage concealer. It's definitely concealing my dark circles, which is what we want anyways. Um, I mean, it blends out really nicely and I did have this concealer sit on my face for a little while. So I actually like that it was easy to blend even after it's sitting because sometimes they can kind of like dry out a little bit. So that's actually pretty nice. Overall, like as far as this side of my face, I absolutely love the finish of this concealer. It is like so flawless on the skin. So that is after one good application of the concealer along with that um, contour shade. So I just want to give you guys like an up close look. I mean, you guys, this concealer blends out like butter, okay? Like it, it is really creamy. It's easy to blend. Um, I do want to see if this concealer is buildable, so I am going to add just a little bit more um, concealer underneath the eye. I do find that this concealer is not drying at all. You guys, I am probably one of the few people that absolutely could not stand Tarte Shape Tape. I didn't like that shit because it was dry. It just made my eyes feel like it was thirsty after I would apply that concealer underneath the eye. So I, this is definitely a good breath of fresh air. Like it's definitely moisturizing underneath the eye and the coverage is amazing. 
So from what I'm seeing, just adding another layer of concealer over top of it, um, it's definitely buildable. If you do have to kind of add another layer over top of that, it is buildable and it blended out with absolutely no problems. So I am not getting any major creasing as you guys can see. I do have some fine lines um, underneath my eye, but it's not sinking into those fine lines at all. So before they do start to sink into those fine lines, let me get this setting powder. Next, I'm going to go in with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and I did get the one in Banana. I believe she came out with eight shades. Um, so I am just going to see what this be like. I'm going to pull off this little thing and get some of this product going. That is what the Banana shade looks like CJ, CJ, no. I'm just continue to set everywhere where I did put <coughs> that concealer it has a really nice smell it doesn't really smell like baby powder or anything. It just kind of smells like all of her other products. So I am just going to I am going to use a um, Morphe R3 brush and I am going to dust away all of this setting Palta. As the powder, it does what it needs to do. It brightens underneath the eye for sure. Here is a close up of how everything looks base and everything foundation on primer on concealer on contour shade on and i will say you guys my skin looks so good and before this i was so hesitant on recording because i am experiencing some hormonal acne right now so what y'all gonna judge me or what so i was just like oh, i don't want to you know i don't want to record and i'm just having issues with my skin but you guys my skin looks amazing um i don't know if you guys are seeing this on camera but in person this concealer is doing its job this setting powder is damn sure doing its job um, so I'm going to give both products a thumbs fucking up because, I mean, my skin looks amazing. So for the sake of time, I am going to skip past doing my eyes because I mainly wanted to focus on the, the concealers and the setting powder as well. Um, just because obviously those are the focal points of this look. So I'm going to use my Moroccan Spice Palette by Fenty Beauty like it's only right. So I will be right back you guys and I am going to complete the look and give you guys my final thoughts. So I have completed the eyes. I did a little bit on the cheeks. I just want to give you guys a quick little close-up here on how the concealer is sitting as well as that setting powder. It is not looking too dry, too cakey underneath the eyes. Everything is still holding up and looking good. I know I just did it, but still, you know, once it kind of sets a little bit, things, you start to kind of get a true feel of how everything is working all together. So, so far, so good. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with, and like I said, this is, this is not new and a part of the new like complexion launch that she just came up with, but I am going to be using for the first time um, the Fairy Balm Shimmer powder and rosé on ice oh yes and that acne is coming right on through but it's okay don't judge a bitch so obviously I did the most so I'm just taking my little real technique sponge and I am blending that out but you guys if you can see this on my skin in real life I mean, I don't think this camera is doing this any justice. So I am gonna apply a little bit to the other side so you guys can really see. Okay. 
So we'll say that. It's so pretty. It goes perfectly with this look. Very pretty pink tint to it. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the top lip. I'm going to do as far as this is spray a little bit of setting powder on this brush just because I'm curious to know how this is going to work with um, a little bit of like wetness to it. So ooh, I said wetness and add that to the inner quarter. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? All of this in place and I am just getting my um, infallible my L'Oreal infallible um, makeup extender setting spray and I am going to just set everything all in place okay I know that was a lot because the reality of it is it was a lot I sprayed a lot but the process of makeup is when you're doing it, it may seem cakey, it may seem like a bit too much, but y'all, when y'all get that setting powder on, I don't know if you noticed, it immediately just made my skin look normal, less cakier, everything is set in place. So don't be afraid to get a little heavy with that setting spray. It is really going to allow everything to set into the skin and look much more natural uh, rather than like the cakiness. So don't be afraid to bake because honey, after that, you're going to set. And after you set, then bitch, you set, okay? So last but not least, I am going to bust open this uncensored i know i'm a little late to the game um and i got this as a christmas gift so i am going to not break the mold we're gonna go ahead and keep this shit going and just go ahead and use this on the lip to tie in the entire look damn ray ray you kept that shit on tight then you make sure don't nobody get to that shit until you purchase that okay All right, y'all. So at this moment, right now, y'all can't tell me shit. Because Riri did it yet again. Like, I'm not even surprised because I love her products already. So all I know is my little coinage has not gone to waste. I will say this is definitely worth the purchase. Only because you know you're getting good quality product. Not as drying as that tart shape tape shit. And you know, I'm not one for bashing another product, but as far as my own personal preference, I am just not the biggest fan. So this is a good concealer, a good turn in the right direction as far as concealers are concerned. Um, I absolutely love how this look came out and like I said, I'm using all Fenty Beauty products. I believe the only thing that I did not use that was not a Fenty Beauty product was like the bronzer that I used. But of course, like she doesn't have a bronzer yet, but I'm waiting on it, bitch. So just, you know, drop a little cue for the cue ball on just in case, you know, you wanna let me know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are just getting that same vibe. Like this looks, looks amazing. From close up, just to give you guys a close up look, look how my skin looks if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up you guys um hit that subscribe button again if you are not already subscribed i'm going to be bringing to you guys more makeup looks um in the coming week but if you guys again enjoyed this make sure you give this video a thumbs up and lord willing i will see you guys in my next video bye